I got my ticket and we're on our way. do a lot more walking than you initially planned on doing, but it's okay because you'll get great calves by the end of it. So to get uh, to town from the university, we always take the shortcut through this cemetery, but it saves a lot of time, saves a lot of hills. We try to immerse ourselves in the culture, so we would spend a lot of time in town. So here we are at the top of the high street. The high street is the main street in town. Um, it's about a 10 minute walk from campus. It has everything you can possibly need. It's got Phone stores, grocery stores, clothing stores, restaurants, restaurants with student discounts. Anything you can possibly need is right down there and only about a 10 minute walk. We're at the Ginger 2 and we came here for afternoon tea and with your tea you can get food. I got hummus, cake. If you're up late and you get this late night craving for food, the Winchester Kebab House is open till about 3 a.m. You can get gyros, chicken sandwiches, french fries, whatever you might want. So here we are at the Winchester Cathedral. It's about a 10 minute walk from campus and it's beautiful inside and out. And if you get the chance, you should really come down and check it out. At the University of Winchester, the way they did classes was a lot different than what we're used to back at HPU. You only went met with your class once a week and you met with them for three hours. Uh, the University of Winchester offered a lot of media classes, which was super helpful for us as communication students. Um, they took anything from a drugs, media, and culture class to all different types of production and practicum classes where you're actually working with the equipment and in their studios there, which you wouldn't find at a lot of universities, especially while studying abroad. One of the important things to remember is the grading system there. They start grading a, a the equivalent of an A at a 70. So you get a grade back and you got a you know, 63 or 64, you might freak out and think that's failing, but in England that's actually a solid B, B+. Our dorms in Winchester were amazing. We had two suites of eight people each. Everybody got their own bedroom, own bathroom, and we all shared a hallway and a kitchen. We were on the top floor, so we had amazing views. We got to live with kids from England and Norway. So here we are at the Winchester train station where you can catch trains to London and then from there you can go pretty much anywhere in the UK. One thing to make sure you get before you come studying in the UK is to get a Brit Rail Pass. And once you have that you can go anywhere in the UK, it's already prepaid for. We went to Scotland, Ireland, Italy and some people went other places even so traveling was definitely a great way to spend your time. But you can hop on a train and be in London in an hour and I absolutely love London. Make sure you definitely bring an umbrella because it rains a lot. When you're in the UK, you have to remember that they use different terms than we do in America. Underwear, they call pants, and pants are trousers. Running shoes are called trainers. An elevator is a lift. Schedule is a timetable. Potato chips are called crisps. In the subway is an underground. Sweater is a jumper. Rain boots are wellies. Umbrella is a brawly. When you have to go to the bathroom, you go to the toilet. A trash can is a bin. A cookie is a biscuit. 